This is Robbie here from AFTV, and I've got a message to all Arsenal fans. If you're going to win titles, sometimes you've got to come to places like this and win. All you fans, wherever you are, we can beat Manchester City and we can still win this title. Believe. All I'm going to say, Robbie, is there's blood in the water and there's a big blue shark behind you. How easy? Oh! No. How oh, easy? Yes. My man took off his hairband and banged it in. At this moment in time, they're a level above us. Is, is it done for you? Oh, yeah, look, let's just done now. We have, I use the word choked. A lot of people are using the word bottled. Use whatever word you want, because that's what we've done. This week's Sunday, it's the big one again. We fumbled the bag going yeah. into the games against Man City. This year, it's, it's, it's very different. We come back here to Manchester City, the Etihad, to take them on. And it looks like we're, we're primed to finally come here and do something. I'm calling on all Arsenal fans, wherever you are around the world, it's time to believe again. Africa, believe. No, Jamaica, no, 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 Rob, Rob, stop, 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 not again, not again, forget all the belief things, Sunday, Etihad, City, Arsenal, title decider, leave it at that. No, all right, let's go, let's go. Right. Turkish man, I was in full flow, bro. Yeah, I see you, I see you, but we believe, Rob, we don't need the war cry this year, we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying try to get clipped up again? Oh, listen, man. Oh, come on, man. People I believe, man. I believe. We've stopped him, people. We've stopped him for you. I saw the comments last year. I saw the ads. I saw the DMs. I said, no, nah, it's not happening this year, Rob. We believe. But yeah, we moved. They said you were moving like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the Avengers. Oh, man. <laughs> Jamaica. America. <laughs> Dubai. No, no, I'm not. No. They're, I think they're right. They're right. They're right. Oh. Come on, all right. Well, look, welcome back to the preview, everyone. We managed to stop Robbie. Let's have a proper conversation. We're here at the Etihad a year on. I can't believe it's been a year already. The season flies by. Look at that. Look at that. That's got me yeah, jealous, man. Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Every best yeah. team in the land and all the world. Yeah. And they're telling the truth. And that's the worst thing about it. And they got all the trophies up there. And um, yeah. it just show, just by seeing that shows you how hard the task is going to be. Yeah. At the weekend, it's going to be tough. Yeah. yeah, let's give you just the general details, of course, around the game. This is the preview for Man City Arsenal, our biggest game of the season, no question. It's a 4.30 kickoff this Sunday. Liverpool will play Brighton before. They may be the league leaders as we go into this game and we know that we've not had the best time of it at the Etihad. We'll go through the previous meetings, the head-to-heads, all that. But of course, we've got to talk about how we're feeling in our guts. That... That nervousness is starting to build up now, Turkish. But I'm is not there nervous. excitement? No, you're not. I'm not I'm okay, excited, man. This is what, yeah, this, this fine, is what I grew up on. Arsenal, big games, big games meaning big things. This is what I wanted to come back to. It's not a divine right to win something. We've got a divine right to challenge our Arsenal, and finally we're doing that. Yeah, I agree yeah, with that. No, no, I totally agree with that. You know what I mean? Normally, apart from last year, normally when we come up here, you know, it's you know, like, you know, we're, we're chicken fodder. You know what I mean? We're going to get battered or, you know, but now we're coming up here and, uh, you know, we're excited about the game. There's a lot of belief, right? There is, um, that Arsenal can come up here and do something. And let's remember, we did beat them earlier on in the season at the Emirates. We've actually beat yeah. them twice this season, if you, if you include the Community Shield. So I'm excited. It's like Turkish said, man, this is what we wanted. We wanted Arsenal to be challenging. Um, we wanted Arsenal, when it comes to this stage of the season, to still be involved. And we are still involved and we're top of the league right now. And yeah. I'm very proud of what the team's been doing this season. And I come in with a lot of, of, um, a lot of anticipation that we can actually finally win it. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. what? We ain't won it since 2015. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be very tough, but I, I, I do think we can come in and do something. I think it's fair to say that a lot of the anticipation and excitement is fueled by some of these things being top of the table, a point ahead of Man City, um, who do sit third, Arsenal top. We do have a better goal difference by 11 goals. That win of eight straight wins in the Premier League, well, that run of eight straight wins in the Premier League really changed things on the goal difference front. And that's all part of the anticipation. Arsenal haven't lost in 2024, nor have they dropped points in 2024 in the Premier League, which just shows you whether they they did in Dubai, we've talked about it a million times, clearly worked for them, but Arsenal came back and put together the kind of run that, okay, we've not hit the 12s, 13s, 14s yet, that Liverpool City did in their run-ins, but we are well on course for that kind of run. So we come here, unlike last season where 
we drawn three games, a Southampton draw disappointing, yeah. Boston League two 0 leads, and actually everyone's going, Arsenal are shaky, they need to dust themselves off and respond here. Actually we come here don't say the aggressors, because City will always be the aggressors as the champions, the treble winners, what they've done for many years. But we come here with genuine belief and then a track record, very recent track record, that backs that belief. Yeah, last year, leading up to both games, James, we fumbled the bag going yeah. into the games against Man City. This year, it's, it's, it's very different. I mean, against Brentford at 1-1, I thought, ah, oh, don't do this. But we got the win. Um, and like you said, we haven't dropped points this calendar year. And this is a massive one because it puts two games between us if we manage to take three points away yeah. from here. And it's, you know, people will look back at last year and say, well, you was five points clearer than two games clearer than heading into the last eight last season. But the difference is we had Liverpool and City in the last eight last season. Mm -hmm. You know, after we get City out of the way this Sunday, there ain't no more City or Liverpool in the remaining nine games. So, yeah. you know, it'll put us in a great position. I wouldn't take a draw if you give it to me now. But I'll be Ooh. happy with a point come the end of it if that. Was I get what you mean. You, you you wouldn't you wouldn't forego playing the match to take the point. You want to see how we're doing it. But if it's a point at the end of it, then there's obviously pride to take from that. Yeah, and I and yeah. I like, and I like that we haven't fumbled it because I remember Antonio last year mentioned that, you know, he heard through friends or through links and in, uh, in the club that we was already talking about the City game, the yeah. game still to play. And then, you know, lo and behold, we go into the game not really prepared, not good enough. And I think this year we've, you know, gone over that mental hurdle, I mm -hmm. guess you'd call it. And it looks like we're, we're primed to finally come here and do something. I think we are, Robbie. You touched on the, the wins this season we've had against them. I thought that community show game, I thought we were the better team. I thought we were really competitive yeah. in that game at Wembley. Penalties got it done, a last minute deflection wins it. We even had deflection to beat them at the Emirates. But again, these have been nervy encounters not a lot of chances in either one but i felt we've edged it i thought tactically we look good in this now the etihad city away it's different when you go to their ground yeah. it's different but there's a belief spot by that what have arsenal done this season to grow on last season because we played them twice and it's getting spanked 4-1 here and that was a bad bad day for us yeah well i think we've got a better team than we had last season number in one way, you know sorry. what i mean with declan rice he's made a massive difference and and i think even players like havertz and that coming in They've, they've fitted in so quick, but I think Declan Rice has been the key to Arsenal this season. He's just given us that bit more strength, you know, and a bit more belief, and he's been absolutely brilliant. And I think, listen, they're the best team in the world right now. That, that post up there doesn't lie. No, it doesn't. But on this season, I think we've been a better team than them overall this season. I think we've played better football, we've been stronger, we've scored more goals as we know. We've beaten them, and I think that we've learned a lot from last year. You know, we've learned a lot from last year, but this is the ultimate test. To come to the Etihad, a place that is so difficult for not just us, but every team to come and get a result. You know, um, even when they're having a bad day, they seem to be able to grind out um, a result. And they know the significance of this game. They know how yeah. important it is. They know that if they win this, they kind of get put themselves back in a great position. If we win this, it's all in our hands, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah. it's in our hands. If they win it, you know what I mean? They, they, it's not strictly in their hands, but they're starting to get back to, to being close. So it's going to be a really, really tough game. But we've seen teams come here. Liverpool came here and got a draw. They didn't win. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea came here and got a draw. But nobody's really come here and got that win. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel that if Arsenal could come here and get a win, not only would it break that hoodoo since 2015, but it would be so significant for us going forward. You know, I mean? it could be that sort of moment where it gives that, and I know I did the whole belief thing last year, but it could be that moment where the players themselves think to themselves, you know what, if we can come here and win, why can't we go to Tottenham where we went last mm -hmm. year and won and get a result? Why can't we go to Old Trafford where we lost and keep always lose even when we're playing well and actually finally do that this year and get that run going that gets us all the way across the line. Yeah. So this game is absolutely massive for Arsenal. If we could get a win here, the significance of it could be game changing for our season in the Premier League. Uh, it, it was, I agree. Sorry, just to cut in there. It wasn't that long ago we was also fearful, nervy to play Liverpool. But what does a, a few good results do. Yeah, it changes that. I think we all predicted wins against Liverpool this season. Three yeah. years ago, that was unimaginable. We're now unbeaten so, in four Premier League games against Liverpool. Yeah, so this is what, what we need to do around? with City now. You know, we've we've faced them twice this year, draw after ninety, and then the win, obviously. Um, now it's time to to come to their turf and 
and lay down a marker. And look, we've had a, a laugh with the whole believe thing, but in all seriousness, <laughs> these players have to believe. And, have to. And, and, and the reason I say that is because it's not just a case of we've got the impossible task and we need to find it within us to, to believe we belong at this table. That's all part of it. Obviously, when you watch City, and don't get me wrong, I, I, these trophies, they might win them all again in the next 12 months. Mm. They, 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 they might. might have every single one again <laughs> back to display. Again. They might do back-to-back was that five trebles whatever you want to call it right but I'm not whatever happens this weekend it won't change my mind that when I look at City this season and whether that changes this Sunday or whatever fine this season they have looked more open there has been a almost a a bit of concentration loss goals they've conceded chances they've conceded openings they've conceded I've gone I don't think even City last season when they weren't really at their best ever looked kind of that open they look a little bit more erratic as a team yeah they they do yeah i also need to play on that liverpool liverpool had a lot of players out granted it was anfield granted it was clock granted we know the magic of that place liverpool from the 30th minute onwards battered city i thought Mm. yeah like that that's unheard of even when liverpool at their best and city weren't really Mm. at it well, maybe not totally unheard of, but yeah, we've got that. that's a that's a term from yeah. boxing, and I think yeah. and I think Liverpool's style has been a problem for Pep over the years, and I think the record shows that our style is not Liverpool's style. No, it's I not. think we that's can true. we can you know flick the switch and and be a bit rock and roll. I, I think we saw that last year, and I think we've seen that this calendar year. Um, so I'd hope to see a bit of that. Yeah, very but, true. You know, e- even the first game at the Emirates, it was very edgy. It was yeah, you know, yeah. nervy. It was you know tight. Will it be similar to that? Do you think it would tactically I think, be similar? I think it might be similar to that. But just going back to your point, James, and the whole again, the whole belief thing. If we don't believe when we come here, if those Arsenal players don't believe, and they start looking around at your Highlands and your De Bruyne's and that, and even Pep Guardiola on the sidelines, and don't believe that they can get one over them. They'll will and they'll lose this game because yeah. you know they've got so many great players across the pitch. But the truth of the matter is, for me, when you look at Man City, still a great side, still one of the best teams in the world. But they're not as good, I feel, as they were last season. Last season, I think they had a stronger team. They had the ability to bring in Gundogan and Mares off the bench, which made them unbelievably strong. They made um, some signings, and I don't think those signings have really settled in yet. You know what I mean? Um, Nunes, Gavardio's not really settled, does he? You know what I mean? Only really one that sort of stood out has been Doku, who's, who's, who's been okay. I don't think they've really, you know, it's not to say that those players, they, they probably will next season, right? I think this is a good opportunity for Arsenal to play and beat them because I just think they're slightly not as good as they were last season. However, if you come here and you don't believe in yourself that you can, you will lose because and they've yeah. still got great, great players and they've still got yep. that great manager in Pep Guardiola. And if you come here and not believing in yourself, you've got no chance. So we've got to believe that we can come here and do something. I agree. And I think Arsenal have improved as well. When I look at the two games we've had against them, last season I felt we looked inferior. I mean, it was 3-1 at the Emirates, it was 4-1 at the Etihad. And in those games, it's the, the Emirates one, there was something we threw, then we played some decent football. Actually, do you know what? I look back at that game at the Emirates, a three on defeat. I don't think we deserve to lose that game. But there was something about them. De Bruyne, one chance, lifts it, buries it. Haaland, just bullying Saliba and Gabriel in that yeah. game at the Emirates, giving, or at least giving them a really tough mm. game. In the games we played this season, I don't think we've looked inferior. No, Jorginho, no. who I watch, I'm like, he shouldn't be able to compete with Man City's midfield, but he looks one of the best on the pitch in that game. I look at Saliba and Gabriel bossing Harlan in that game. He doesn't get a touch. I think he's registered yeah. a combined 0.0 xG across both games. Both he's games, not getting yeah. shots against us, let alone goals this season. And that, for me, is a it's such a cringe sentence, but that kind of boys to men, like we feel that we kind of belong as part yeah. of this battle and part of this match. Yeah. And I want them to show it here because this is the big test. I think at the Emirates, any team in the Premier League, even 12th in the league at home, can turn up and be difficult for anyone. Mm-hmm. But if you can do it on the road, that's the that's the yeah. acid test and this will be big. Yeah. This will be really big. We've been great on the road. That's the one yeah. thing, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? The one thing we can say for this season, you know, um, apart from that game at Fulham, we've been great on the road and in, you know, since the start of this year, We've been fantastic on the road. They've got to believe in themselves this week. They have to. They have to, right? Because they've been brilliant. They've been absolutely brilliant on the road. But this is the ultimate test. But come here, be brave, play your football. Obviously, you can't go gun ho against these guys, who you, you, you know. But play your football and believe in what you're doing. Be brave on the ball. And we can come here and get a result. And if we did, 
what would that do for us? Yeah, and, I, and I go back to what you mentioned about being a better team, Declan Rice. I think the fall in our side when it comes to City tends to be the brain. Yeah. Rice has got a job. Yeah, this yeah, 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 yeah. Mark the brain. I don't care about anything else. Make sure the brain doesn't make a, a difference in the game because he's made a hell of a lot of differences against yeah, Arsenal. Very, so very true. I want to see a, a, a man to man job there. And you mentioned, you know, with De Bruyne, obviously, missed the game at the Emirates because of injuries. I mean, the reports are saying that it's unknown whether he's going to be available for this game. Yeah. I imagine he probably will be. They'll all be there. What, what do we think I'm of, ignoring all of those Carl James. Walker, John ah. Stones, no? I think John Stones will be at. You think that was... He's a, made a st- Stones has made a glass. Yeah. Uh, the amount, the amount of games he misses... Well, he's made a stone. Yeah, he, yeah <laughs> contrary to his name. He's made a glass. Uh, and I think when Southgate confirmed there's an abductor problem he won't be there on Sunday he's only played a handful of games the last few seasons so that's a big miss for them because he was starting to get in the groove I thought he was brilliant against United and yeah. the Manchester Derby he's the only one in their defence that can step in. yeah that, well, and they tried the it the Kanji and it doesn't always look the same but no, Kanji yeah, gives them no. more solidity not necessarily than Stones but he does bring that to the team but but I, right, I, I, Edison, I think, I think, I think Ed, Edison I think might be out as well Okay. Oh, to yeah, be honest, yeah, to yeah. be honest, that uh, uh, Stefano comes in has been pretty good. Ortega, yeah, he's Ortega, good. sorry, he's been he's good, good, isn't he? So, but I think, I'm, listen, let's just ignore him. In, yeah, I, t- right. I, t- I just get the feeling they, they, you know, I, I, I turn up here thinking they're all going to be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I just. Yeah, I don't, the, the oh, Walker yeah. one. I mean, Stones, I, I Walker, Timber, easy. all out there. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, not our ones. No, no that's true. No, that's that's their that ones. You know, our ones. When they say they're yeah. injured, they're actually telling the truth. Very true. Well, you know what? Let's just give you the news that Bakayo Saka, Gabriel, as you know, we covered on AFTV. They did pull out of international duty. Gabriel Martinelli has a gash on his leg, and Jerome Timber has been out with a long-term injury. Yeah. Whether we think they'll be back or not, we're going to hold the that one. for the predicted mm-hmm. eleven. Just, just with that Martinelli one, yeah. I mean. A gash on your leg. Why was he then on crutches and all that? That's the thing that. Yeah. That's what I mean with our ones, man. They always come true. Your man's got a gash on his leg. He's on crutches. Some gash, boy. Because. I... What's that? I mean, and I'm I'm hoping and praying he's going to be fit because I think he'd be a major player. <laughs> it is a, a very Arsenal thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got a gash on your leg, and you're on crutches. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean the, 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 the reasoning behind it, I get, but he should be ready for this one. He should be ready. I hope I, so. I heard that Nagash is at a point where, you know, the foot angle, so he was on crutches precautionary because if he does step and then angle it, it could open up again. So well, I'm hoping that over two weeks... It's, what about plaster? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I'm sure I saw an image of it. Did yeah. you see an image of the guy? You seen... No. Thank, thank you for watching the preview, guys. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it. Let's get score predictions. Score predictions. Listen, I am going to believe. I don't know um, what websites you're on. Nah, you know what, right? If I'm being honest to myself, I get the feeling this is going to be a draw. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. I, I want to win. I'm desperate for a win here. But I just get the feeling that the, the two teams could kind of cancel themselves out this weekend. And if we did get a draw, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, it actually be probably looked upon as a good result, I feel. But I just got the feeling it's going to be a draw. That's just just, just what I'm yeah, feeling, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, leaning towards that. But something about this game, I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident. I'm about to be believe, yeah? quite loud about it now. So I'm believe. going 3-1 Arsenal. Whoa! I believe. Three one. I'm going three one. Jesus, it's I'm not me say this two, year. But then I thought, let me say three because you know that's the that's, wow. the, that's the common prediction. Hey, look, listen, three one. Oh my god! It just feels like listen. It, come Monday, come Sunday now, I might look like a fool, but it just feels like it's coming full circle. The process, Man City, they're not the same. You know how often can we say? A Pep Guardiola team can be got at across Bayern, Barca, and Man City. Only a couple of seasons you can say they can be got at. This is a season they can be got at. Three so one let's, Turkish. Let's go. Let's go. I hope you're right, bro. I'm gonna go one one. I think we'll perform valiantly. I think it might be one of those games where we might look back on chances and go, we could have, we could have maybe. I feel like maybe we're sort of forgetting that City do have this ability to flick the switch because of Haaland and De Bruyne. I agree, they're not that and, same and animal. And they're an amazing but, record here as well. Yeah, but yeah. if there's anyone, you know, if Rodri, De Bruyne and Haaland turn up, they don't really need the rest to. So there is that. They could humble us, but it's nothing we're not used to. So yeah, we may yeah. as well be confident back there. Believe. I believe they can do it. There we go. We'll end on that. Everyone, I believe that we I can. Think, <laughs> That's not that chart. They'll kick you out. No, no, no. The yeah, away fans will get out. I'll give you a kick. Right, rightly so as well. 
Bye everyone, subscribe to AFTV, check out all the content coming out. I know we did tease it a little earlier in the video, there will be a Predict 11 video as we look ahead to who the starting 11 could be, what we think of the injuries and what we're going to need in this game because two former City players might not be starting this weekend where they might have done a year ago. Go check out that video when it comes out very soon.